This is Relay for Life, the community event where commitment and support makes a meaningful contribution to the fight against cancer. It's a unique overnight fundraiser that empowers everyone who participates. Relay to me is hope because I think it's the most important thing that cancer patients and their families can have. A lot of fun. There's a lot of activities and great music to celebrate me surviving and others that I know that have helped me through it and just to have a good time, basically. There are hundreds of relays held right across Australia. Some have thousands, just like this one. Some only have a few hundred, but it doesn't matter how big a relay is, every single one counts. The Relay for Life concept of the uh, walkathon over the weekend is fantastic because you can contribute as a couple, you can contribute as a family, or you can contribute as a business. You can join an existing team or register your own team of family, friends and workmates. The best thing about Relay for Life is the opportunity to put something back into our community and for our staff to support another staff member and to build up their skills in communication and team building. You can even start your own relay. Just visit the website or talk to your local cancer council. They will support you from beginning to end. Technically the relay concept is that, is that the team might want to have somebody on the track all the time. Everything's different for every team. Some teams pack up and go home and come back in the morning. Some get sponsorship per lap, some run their own raffles. The range of fundraising things that goes with the teamwork prior to the event is vast. Most teams conduct a whole range of fundraising activities and we challenge you to come up with your own fundraising ideas or we can help formulate them for you. Each member pays a small fee to register and you'll receive a Relay for Life t-shirt. You can register in advance or register on the day. Over the 24 hours of Relay for Life there are three main events. Um, it's made up of Celebrate, Remember and Fight Back. The first ceremony is um, the Celebrate Ceremony, which is a chance to remember those who have survived and celebrate that. The carers and the survivors walk around and everybody will stand on the side of the track and clap them on because they deserve it. To me, it means celebrate that, yeah, I possibly have the chance to survive too. The atmosphere, I think, is the best part of it, that everyone's there for sort of the same reason, and they're all there to have fun, but to raise money and help people who need the help as well. It's a chance for you to just meet up with your friends, pitch a tent, have lots of fun, dress up, play stupid games and spend the whole night walking around the track for something that's really important to a lot of people because it touches so many people. I get a mixed feeling when they say, well, time for the survivor's lap because I, I'm happy to be there and walking around with my family, but then I kind of get a bit sad because I know that my nan's not going to be walking with me. The second ceremony of the event is the Remember Ceremony, also known as the Candlelight Ceremony of Hope. It's a chance to remember the loved ones that we've lost from cancer, but also remember that we need to keep the message of hope alive.
eat a healthier diet or exercise daily. Usually a survivor speaks at the fight back ceremony and they talk about their journey and how they are fighting back against cancer. At the ceremony, prizes are awarded and the final fundraising total is announced. Every cent goes to help the Cancer Council's mission to defeat cancer. Fight back through supporting research. There are dedicated teams of individuals working very hard trying to find new treatments and new cures for cancer. I think cancer researchers are amongst the most passionate of uh, professionals you'll find. My team has received a grant from the Cancer Council to investigate a new cancer drug that we've made. What this drug does is that it stops tumours from making blood vessels and when you do that you stop the tumours from spreading and you also stop them from growing. Fight back with patient support and information. I had my family and my friends to support me, but sometimes that's not enough. We're hungry for information. We need to know what the treatments will do to our bodies and how it'll affect our lifestyles. Fight back through cancer prevention and screening. Fight back by advocacy, speaking up with patients, carers and the wider community. Fight back by working in the community, raising awareness and expanding our services, especially into regional areas. We've been so well supported. For all you people who still are suffering and uh, have just been diagnosed, look at this young girl here and look at, look at the good news stories that can come out of it. If people get involved, we can fight back and we'll make a difference. Relay for Life is like no other event. It inspires people to come together and fight against cancer. Every step you take brings us one step closer to finding better treatments. So, who will you relay for? For my wife's mum. For my dad. For my mum. Our best mate. For mum. Who will you relay for? For grandpa. For me. Who will you relay for? I relay for my auntie and uncle. For my sister. For my best mate. 